You are. <laughs> Alright. Am I gonna say moustache? Oh, I've got the best idea. What's that? I have eyes on the back of my head. Yeah? Or you could put those ones on the back of your head, like these ones. I can see from the back <laughs> of my head. You can have now, look. I put those. <laughs> I have eyes on the back of my head. <laughs> Hi Carmela, listen Dave, are you ready to go? We're going to start in, in like two minutes. One minute, two minutes. Know. Have you got paint? Have you got brushes? Yes. yes. Brushes? Oh, that's, it. that's my oil painting brush. I can't that one. I suppose you can if you can. Just take it if you right. Have I got water? No. No! I need water. You've got okay, water I've got water. The horse water. The horse water. Here we go. Horse. Hey, there are Halloween buckets. That's really a good one. Oh, we should make that into a Halloween bucket. Yeah, we probably could do. We probably could do. Right, let's do it. We're breaking all world records here. We've got 172. Okay, Ash, the connection, if I keep freezing, that is your Wi-Fi. So it'll catch up. It'll catch up. Say so stupid Wi-Fi. Stupid Wi-Fi. Stupid Wi-Fi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> stupid Wi-Fi. One minute to go. What have we got to say to people? Anything? We're all sorted. Yeah, you want to use paint rather than watercolour. Oh, before I forget, Luca, Rufus and Joss, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot to give you a shout out last week. Well, I forgot. Well, you forgot. Oh, no, we both forgot. It's my fault. I love Baby. Baby. Okay, I need to get this thing turned on. Okay, let's go. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Okay, Dave, let's yeah. go. It's 12 o'clock. Are you ready? Yeah. We are ready. We are ready. Uh, you've lost your moustache already. No, with... it's on my back. All right, Archie, calm down. We're 30 seconds late. <laughs> it's, 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 on, it's on the back. Oh, it's on the back. Okay, great. There you go, Dave. Introduce us all, please. Interesting, guys. Interesting. That was meant to say 18. Is that your piece said? Yes. Okay. Morning, everybody. Morning, morning. Thank you for um, tuning in. Uh, I'm Claude uh, Monet, obviously. Uh, Claudette. Say hello, Claudette. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that in a little French accent? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Thanks for tuning in. Yes. Hope everything's ready. Have you got everything sorted out? You've got no, a little printout. The one thing I need is a biscuit. Get help yourself to biscuits. Help us, everyone help yourself to biscuits. Um, I'm going to re or we are going to recreate uh, Monet's Japanese footbridge. Um, what happens if you haven't done this before is uh, I'm going to put this I over haven't here. Done this <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to paint it again. You You're all going to follow me. You're all going to follow me. We have a little break at quarter to one. Uh, don't click on any suspicious links in the feed because that happened a couple of weeks ago, but don't I think we've cleared it up now. Um, I think that's about it and we should just get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is paint the whole thing uh, orange. So it's a mixture of red and yellow and we paint the whole thing. 
I go quite fast because you want to have time at the end to catch up. Um, uh, but the, the easy bits we paint fast and the slower bits, so like the bridge, we're going to have 15 minutes to paint the bridge, probably 15 minutes to paint the lilies, a bit more maybe. Uh, so when I say paint fast, paint fast. And when and you can calm down, if calm you down. have one of these, it's easier to paint the lilies. Definitely not easier to paint the lilies with an earbud. So, Dave, paint the whole thing orange. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks, we're off. We are off. That goes there. Take this up here. I'm off. Oof, she's off. Well done, Claudette. I need a canvas. Set to be quick. Yeah. Set to be quick. quick. There's that. And then this is your reference here, the one I made earlier. Last time? I can't remember. Oh no, this is it's like called the walk, isn't it? Yeah, we did the walk the last, last week. That's the special. Okay. I'm going to need this. And I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to... Yeah, if you want to use a little bit of water with your red paint, then that's good. I'm going to move it up. To spread it out a little bit. That goes like that. It goes like that. I'll just check to see if we are kind of. I can go a bit closer. This does not like that. That goes like that. Right, brilliant. Hopefully, you've already made a start. Daisy's made a start. I'm going to go for it now. Big brush. Big brush. Yellow paint. In with a little bit of red, like that. And we paint the whole thing. The whole thing. Oh, I'm, I've got an old canvas. Doesn't matter. Huh? I've got an old canvas, guys. <laughs> I've got an old canvas. Yeah. Well, you can use. <laughs> if there's a, um, you know, you can recycle canvases just by putting white white emulsion on top. Household emulsion, just for everyone's guide. Everyone has is that. the same acrylic paint that you will buy in the shop. So don't bother buying expensive, especially white paint, because you get through a lot of white paint. You've probably got about five litres of it under the stairs or in the cupboard. It looks like this. Yeah, no one can see that. But it's just a tin of, tin of paint. If you're lucky enough to be using canvas... Oh, oh yeah, I still have my biscuits. <laughs> if, you use, if you're lucky enough to be using canvas, make sure you paint around all the edges. It saves you money on framing. Here we go. But if you're doing paper, get um, um You tell them tape, whatever it is. Tape around the edges. Tape around the edges, yeah, that's good. We always should say that at first, because then people would start painting already. Yeah, okay, you got that. Brilliant, okay. So fast speed painting to start with, and then we can calm it all down later. Yeah. Have you had a good week, Dave? Mm -hmm. What have you been doing? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember yet. I can't remember getting up this morning. I remember you woke me up, but then I went back to sleep. Yeah. I had a nosebleed last night. No one needs to know that. No one needs to know that. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's the same shade, we just paint the whole thing orange. And it's sort of a bit closer to red this time. If you've done this before with us, we almost always paint the thing either yellow or like a light orange to start with. But today it's a bit darker. Oh my god, this thing is annoying. With a little beard. Oh, well, that's because you've stuck your moustache to your hair. That will be annoying, right? No, it actually isn't annoying. Oh, okay, that's good then. All right, here but we go. Right, so just make sure everyone can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So yes, if you can see what we're doing. <laughs> so yes, if I can just put that over there for a little bit. As I think people on iPads, sometimes it cuts the edge off. Use a little bit of water if you um, if you need to. If you if you're using paper. Obviously, stretch it out and stick it to some board if you can. 
Don't go too crazy on water. That's good, you've nailed it, Dace. Have you got some dark blue paint out for yourself? Yes. All right. You can just, uh, you can just relax now. So I can lie on the floor? Uh, if you want to lie on the floor, you can. <laughs> How many biscuits have you had already? Cool. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, so. If they were hot enough, then I would have eaten them all by now. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a minute just to sort of catch up and. Uh... Oh, hi, Jenny. Guess what, my favourite one? Cooperman! Hello, mate. Hello, Cooperman. <laughs> Oh, we can relax now. Just relax, Dace. Oh, everyone's having a lovely time painting. We can just, we've got... Wait, don't mess with, don't touch another person's canvas. It's very naughty. No one can see you down there. Oh, thanks. You say to everyone else, paint the edges, but you never paint the edges. I know, that's good. No one can see like, my edges. All right, so... You can use pastels. Uh, so if you're using pastels, it's slightly different. So just, Nicole, just like smudge a load of orange pastels all over the back of the canvas. And you, use, you have to use your hand quite a bit to do that. Or use a tissue. Sorry, I, I, that was like the first one I said. No one can see you sat down there, sweetie. Hello. Get back over there, and get back in your cage. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. If we're going to have a quick, the next sort of stage is also, it's quite fat. We're using acrylic paint, hopefully some people are using uh, oil pastels, but like we're supposed to, it's supposed to be painting, but you can. Uh, watercolours makes it more difficult. Hopefully, you can test it. It's almost dry, okay? Now the most important part of this, or one of the most important parts of this it painting. It's actually almost dry. Yeah, it dries quite quick is this part at the back, the back of the pond. So let me just show you on here. This part is We're the most important place down here. Okay. Just there, that's the most important part. So on your, hopefully you can see the mono version, and it's, it's, this, it's this bit here. A mono, what he's done is he's, um, he's almost got like a footpath that sort of winds its way, How sort of, down to the back of the painting there. So this part here is really important and we're going to do that bit now. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to figure out where it is in our, on our canvas and it's a third, artwork's in thirds. Oh. It's a third off the top, maybe a little bit down from a third off the top. So with a smaller brush, not your smallest, oh. ready days, come over and have a look and see what I'm doing. Just, well, that's what we can do like, later, sweetie. But how? Right. Get some blue paint. Get some, Get some blue paint. paint. Dip it. You don't need to clean your brush. We want dark blue paint. And for that, we are going to, you, because you've already got red on there, it'll probably end up going a bit purple. And we're going to do a little line here. And that's the back of the painting. Did you say it That's our vanishing point, which, which is here. Important. What? I'm in the cave. There you go. <laughs> All right, so that's the back of the painting, and it's about a third, maybe a little bit further down than a third. That's a bit high, go a little bit further down. So we've got to fit the bridge in. Yeah, Dave, so I think that's good. And because it's a pond, we try and get it really straight at the back. A nice straight line. Okay, now as we're looking at the rest of the pond, coming forward, these are the things that we need to make sure we have in. We've got the reeds that are coming up from the sides, and we're just going to do where the reeds poke out of the pond. So some of them poke out here, and you can sketch them in like this if you want. And then some of them poke out here, and you can sketch them in like this if you want. And then probably about halfway down on the right-hand side, Dace, come over here so you can see what I'm doing. About halfway down on the right hand side, that's where Oops. they poke out, and that's where they. Obviously, we're gonna. I need a smaller brush. 
you do need a smaller brush. We're going to be putting green on top of this, but we need to sort of fill in the background um, first. So don't panic too much. It's just, this is about where stuff is. Okay, so there's some more reeds here. Very sketchy. There's some more reeds here, probably very sketchy. And then like down here, there's some, there's some more reeds here. So now roughly we know where stuff is. I'll give you a minute. It's a race. I'll give you a minute to catch up. Oh, that's no problem, Lara. Happy birthday. Oh, I keep going around. Uh, very difficult to, uh, very difficult to do these classes sometimes with a fancy dress and that. Those days, this is looking good. Beautiful work, Claudette. Hold on. Yes. Good work. I got a high five from Monet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you starstruck? Have you never met Monet before? No. All right. It doesn't really matter what sort of brush you're using, to be honest. Big brush, I use a big brush a lot. There's a lot of coverage. I've just got a, 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 an old brush like this for doing these bits. Just because I like to use a chisel brush, actually, if you really care. But any brush for this is fine. Daisy Doodles, sorry, sorry Claudette. Use a really uh, nice. Okay, fair enough. Can we do these ones on this side? Don't forget, this is your reference, Claudette, here. Mm -hmm. So we're doing these where the things come. Okay, now hopefully we're all going to like this bit. You need to get a load of um, yellow paint. <laughs> we're going to get a load of yellow paint and a load of dark blue paint. And we're going to paint the whole background. If it if it starts to go a bit purpley, that's good. We want that, we want that to happen. That's great, Dave. We want to use a lot of paint. We're not using actual green yet because it's better that we mix our own up. We're going to go yellow and blue, and we mix it on the canvas or on your paper. So let me just quickly show you this. This bit needs to go quite quick. We have to go quite quick because it's fairly easy. And yeah, later like when we do the little jumping. flowers on the lily pads, that's like a bit... Dolphins jumping. Dolphins what? No, no, like jumping. Oh, jumping dolphins. Dolphin. Oh, you won't. Maybe you could stick them on your canvas later. Oh, yes! Not now. Oh, no. Oh, no, they've gone on. It's right. a tadpole jumping. <laughs> okay. Right then. Okay, here we go. Follow me. Dave, just have a, sorry Claudette, just have a quick look and see what I'm doing. This uh, side. Maybe you take your dolphins off. <laughs> okay, so I've got yellow paint and I've got dark blue paint. And what I'm doing is big brush, I'm just going up and down for the whole oh, that's thing. That's so fun. I know, just wait, two secs. So I've got yellow paint and I've got dark blue paint. If some red gets in there, that's all right. And I'm literally, going up and down like this, covering up almost all of the red. Yeah, if it's too blue, add some yellow. If it's too yellow, add some blue. This is big brush. There's a lot to do, so we use big brush. <laughs> remember, where you, remember where you put the uh, reeds and just kind of, I don't know, paint brush. around them or a bit on top. That's looking really good, Dave. So it, the, you just got to be brave and trust me, it will all be Five okay. Minutes. But the brush strokes are up and down. If a tiny bit of red pokes through, then that's good. It might, it'll make for a... It's like a sunset. It's nothing like a sunset, is it? Look, it's already coming through. Oh, I see, yeah, all right, yeah. I mean, you don't want it the same colour, as in the same... So you want some bits to be lighter, like that. There's a light bit. Don't forget this, the important bit. That's the light bit, and then straight on with blue to make it a darker bit. Mix it in. Yes, Dave, that's really good. You could use a bit more paint if you wanted, because you really, you might have a bit too much red poking through there, but it's still good. We're using acrylic paint, or most of us are. 
it's going to dry quite quick and that's the beauty of using acrylic paint. Um, oh, you can't see what I'm doing because of the hat. What hat? I don't know, someone said take the hat off. Maybe your hat. Whose hat? There it is, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. The hat is gone. I'm pretty sure I'm out of the way. So it must be your hat days they're talking about. Anyway, here we go. So you feel better with your hat off. So that's that. And then the whole of this is pond. So it's going to be mirroring the whole of the top bit. So Aww. you just do the same. All the way right down. Man, I love this. I thought you'd like this. So we just do the same. Ooh, yellow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Remember to paint all the way up to the edges of your canvas and make sure you paint to the edges. Oh, hello, Mal. Edges of your, um, your paper as well. And hopefully you've put masking tape all the way around the outside of it. In the way. So that you get to peel up the masking tape off at the end and you get a really beautiful white border and it's really satisfying. Is it Cordette? Are you okay? No. <laughs> okay, so just don't forget, we need to remember a little bit where these reeds are coming out of. So we've got these ones here. I'm going to go over them again. Fast, fast, fast painting. Oh. Daddy. Yes, see. I went in with the wrong end of the brush. Oh dear. Don't worry about that. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look. Oh. Let's take the eyebrows off your painting. No, I love the eyebrows. Okay. They're the best part of my painting. Okay. Daisy's uh, pushing artistic boundaries here. Woo! Oh, hi, Lexi and Lottie. Hi. We've got regulars nowadays, that's good. We like that. Does anyone want my autograph? <laughs> I'm sure somebody will want a signed photograph of Claudette. The original Claudette. Okay, oh, we're getting on for time, everybody. Woo, 20 past. We're painting fast, that's good. We painting fast. We painting fast. Hopefully everyone's all right. I can see. Even got green goo. <laughs> Look at them; they're amazing. Well, I, do you know what I think you should do? If you insist on putting the eyebrows on, put them on at the end. Okay. Yeah, because they kind of look just a bit weird. Okay, so why have we covered it? Oh, winds of blue and cadmium yellow. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it. Oh, I've got yellow. Yeah, slapping on the paint, Anne-Marie. Yeah, don't worry, Ella. I always go really fast. Because you've that's got to more like see. Money. Is it? <laughs> yeah, Ella, everyone, I always paint fast. Always paint fast because we're sort of on a time thing. And also, I've got to do mine really quick so that you can see what to do. So my, mine's always going to go quite quick. Careful, Dave, because you don't know where your reeds are going to be. Don't forget, there's reeds there. Don't paint over everything you've done. You with me? Oh, I like it. Fine. Yes, Annette. This will be able to view again as soon as we finish. So yeah, as soon as we finish at half past one, roughly, I press save on the phone and it automatically yeah. goes onto uh, the Facebook page. Oh my God. So you can watch it back whenever you like. And um, yeah, lots of people do and send me the paintings at your leisure over the weekend and hopefully 
if I get the right thread and I do the cutting and pasting right, you get to get in the video, which goes on when it goes on sort of. Sunday I love night. my painting. You should do. It's really good. There's also if um, for those of you, loads of you say slow down. There's a break at quarter to one, which is in about 15 minutes, till one o'clock, and um, that's where you can have a little break or you can have a little catch up. Do, 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 do. Speed painting. <laughs> oh, hi, Jasmine. No, you can't pause it, it's live. You could do that. Pause, Dave. <laughs> Paused. Good pausing. Good, that was good live pausing, that was. People will be like, oh my gosh, it's paused. Oh my god, I've broken the internet again. Where's my reference? I've lost it. Lost my reference. Do, do, do. Celia! Hiya! And Kaylee. You can tinker with this for ages, can't you? But also, you can just. You want a little bit, there's nothing, you know, you want a little bit of the orange showing through. So that'll keep it warm in his garden, in his jubilee. How's yours going, Dave? You're liking this one, aren't you? Okay, so we've got to psych ourselves up for the bridge. I'll tell you what we'll do, I know what we'll do. For, for five minutes, because there will be some people that are... Some people paint faster than others. Daisy paints really fast. <laughs> okay. So, what we can do now is, at this stage, and whilst we wait for a few people to catch up, sweetie, come around here. I'm done. Come around, come around here, let me show you. Now it's my break. It's not the break yet. We're just gonna, re we're gonna reinforce re the- Reincarnation. Not reincarnation, we're gonna reinforce the reeds. So with some lighter- oh, already done. Nice. There you go. With some lighter, so just add yellow, and you can put in some of these reeds. That was my brush. I stole your brush. <laughs> I don't got a brush it anymore, is. though. It what is. do you do? <laughs> you don't have to wait for me. In fact, you don't have to listen to a word I say. Hi, Janice. I always forget to say that. You don't have to listen to me, you can just crack on. Oh, it's so difficult with this moustache days. Oh, oof. Put it on the back of your head then. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I'm just putting in some of these reeds. Remember when we did the reeds? And it's really just a bit of, it's just a little bit of yellow paint. You can add dark to it if you want, but for what we need for this painting, we're covering up the orange. I've probably got a bit too much orange. But remember where these reeds they come out of the water, the pond like that, on those flat bits we did. And then that's it. Is that good? Yeah, I love it. You want to get some reeds coming out on the on the left hand side as well. I mean the right hand side. So they're like that. And if you want to be clever, hey Dave, come around here, let me show you something. Oh beautiful. Come around here. You might not need to do this. But if you want to be clever, you can do the reflections, and the reflections are, yeah. of course, a mirror image of what you've just done. But it's not important, because there's going to be a load of lilies on there. So, take a deep breath, we're going to paint the bridge. We're going to paint the bridge. And it's going to take a little bit of... Uh, 
Is it lighter when you put it in green? You can't really put lighter colours. Just put yellow straight on. Yellow, or you can mix up with some white with your green, and that'll make it a light green. No, it's not the bright. We haven't done the bridge yet. <laughs> we haven't done the bridge yet, have we? Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I forgot to do something. It's not that important. Are you ready for bridge? No. Are you ready for bridge? A little slurp of some coffee. There it is. Oh, it's all over my mustache. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready. Excuse me, who's that behind? Hi, Zyla. Hi, Zyla. Arthur and Freddy, hello. Hello. What's he doing? What? Well, it's not a secret. Everyone can see. <laughs> Right, you ready to paint this bridge? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got to paint the bridge. We've got to we've paint got the to. bridge. So the bridge. Excuse me, I'm just doing something. Oh gosh, bro. Right. 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 So purple, we get some dark blue and some red. Get some dark blue and some red. What we need to do is we need to do that. This arch here, hopefully you can see. This arch, the bottom part here, and this mirrors, this is the reflection at the bottom here. All right? So we're all thinking, how's this gonna work? So am I. But if we do a little, get some purple paint, so red and dark blue. Where's Daisy gone? Okay. Ta da! Oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay. Dave. Hello. <laughs> red, blue. We do a, a, a little dot, a little dot of red and blue for the apex of the bottom part of the bridge. And that's above our vanishing point. Remember our vanishing point here is this the back of the pond? We do a little dash there for the apex of our bridge, yeah? And then, you look like Elvis. And then each side does at the same height as, as, the, as the vanishing point. So you can do a little dot here. It's so big, it's so soft. Oh, it's soft. <laughs> nice cycle. Do a little dot here each side, and then we join them up. So we just join them up. Start from the middle and try and get a nice, don't worry too much about the shade of it, or the colour of it. Uh, we can deal with that later, it's just getting the shape right. Like so, that? Yeah, that'll do, Dace, that'll do. <laughs> you nailed it. Drift it off. I mean, you don't need to paint all the way to the edges. This is my hair now. And then it's Look just, at my hair. Just shush a minute. This is important. If it's important. I like, do you like my hair? I do like my hair. Oh, I don't want to be on okay. my so that is the bottom of the bridge, and it's a bit reddy colour, purpley, it's fine. That's the bottom of the bridge. We need to do a mirror image of this because the top of the surface of the pond is a, it's like a glass mirror, isn't it? Mirror. So that reflection. reflection is exactly the same, and it's kind of red-ish. Doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but it's very close to the bottom. And we're doing this red-ish reflection like that. So use a little bit more paint. Back. <laughs> and we do a red-ish reflection. And if it's roughly the same shape as that, then we've done well then we've done well. Alright, we'll give you a couple minutes to um, yeah, it's yours is a bit kind of uh, it's like a bit of a steeper. It's a little bit of a sort of steeper curve, isn't it? It's not exactly the same shape, but it'll do. It'll do, Dace. Oh, hello, Gary. Hello. Ooh. Gary. Ooh. <laughs> right. Do you like my eyebrow? Uh, yeah, really cool. Can't really look. This is what I have to do if I go like that. Go away. <laughs> Go over there, no one can see you down there. 
All right, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Get that straight. Okay, so all going to plan. I hope everyone's having a good time. We, 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 we painted that quite quick, didn't we? If you find that you've got nothing to do and you're waiting for me to carry on, you can do some smaller little brush strokes in the, in the background. This is your only chance to do this because you can't do it after we put the bridge in. Anyway, that's just for people who are fast. You okay, Dave? I'm trying to imagine oh. what it would be like. Oh, yeah. Are you? Okay. That's exactly what's good. Okay, so here we go. We've got to concentrate now. We've got to concentrate. Everybody, everybody, stop what you're doing and concentrate because it's the bridge. And if we get the bridge right, nothing else really matters. So, come over this side, and then you can see what I'm doing. We need, we need some white paint and some blue paint, light blue, white, and green. So I've got, hopefully you can see, uh, I've got light blue, white, and green. So we're mixing up a load of that. Hopefully you can see that. What are you doing? Okay. Hopefully you can see that. So we've got the bottom of the bridge in, hopefully at the right place. Wait, come this side so you can see. The bottom of the bridge is the right place. And with this colour, we're going to redo, we're going to go on top of our red line. Oh, I love that colour. Can I use your brush for it? Take it. Give me your, give me your brush. Thanks. So that's one line. And then the top line, the top banister, if it's good, it's not a banister, maybe it's a, is really close to the top of the painting. So you want a small brush for this. I've got one of these chisely ones. You want a small brush for this, and you need to get, do a little dot, maybe a centimetre or something off the top of your canvas, depends how big your canvas is, but it's quite close to the top. And then we do two very thin lines, and the trick is, to get it to match the bottom line as much as, as, as best you can. So, I'll tell you what, I'll go around this side, it might be easier. Easier for this, anyway. Right, so I'm gonna try and match up, uh, match up the bottom. If it goes on a bit sketchy to start with, that's all right. How did you make this color? That color is white, light blue, and green. No, it's not. It's white, light blue, and yellow. But it's basically light blue. I've lost my paint now. It's over there, isn't it? Okay. Ooh. Oh, you've got paint on your beard. Yeah, there. yeah, nice. And then you do the top one, and the top one just mar it's quite thin. It's good to make it thin to start with. I mean, you can always thicken it out. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Top line then. Top line. Top line. I need your paint. Okay. Feel free to steal my paint. Okay, now this is not super hard. We're going to do another line, right, right underneath it, really close, really close. So this is the second, this is the other side of the bridge, basically. It's really, but the line is really close. Just a very like small gap. Like yeah, you want a bit more paint on that. It looks good though. Just do it, just go over it again. So it's quite light, it's like a light blue colour this. Keep looking at your reference as well. Rather than that one, maybe look at the Monet. Monet's better, isn't it? Hopefully everyone's all right so far. We've got 10 minutes to paint the bridge, which is loads of time. When did Monet die? I knew you'd ask that, Dave. Uh, when did Monet die? Whew. 
Uh, Should we have a guess? Eight, 19. It was 1840. I'm sure it was born in 1840. Maybe like. Yeah, yeah, probably something like that. I'm going to say 1911. 1909. Okay. Can I search it up? Not yet, you can't. Please. Uh, not now, because we're kind of busy doing like a live broadcast thing. No, like, it'll be very quick. No, don't search it up. It's, I think I wrote it down on there somewhere. Or oh, there's a photograph in here. Okay. Jump out the way. Jump out the way. Okay, so hopefully we've done these two lines and then we need to do another two lines in the middle of the bridge. Same thing, they're actually, if you've been a perfectionist, they're slightly, they're slightly closer together than the top. Right. Come on, we're doing these lines. You've not done the second line yet. Try and paint them thin. Oh, look at that, it's gone too blue. Oh, I didn't mix it up. And if you if the colour changes, through, that's fine. It's totally fine. If it's a bit yellow and then it's a bit green. What if it's too white? If it's too white, you put some. If it's too dark, you put some white in it. And if it's too too light, you put some. You put some blue in it, basically. But this painting, right, it is it's quite a dark, there's a couple of people saying my painting's too dark, but it is, it's quite a dark painting actually. As soon as you, and then as soon as you start putting the, the lily pads in and the lilies and that, then it's sort of alright, brightens the whole thing up a bit. There we go, so there's those. The break? The break is in 10 minutes, so you've got to keep, hello, what are you doing there? Ooh, nice. And then there's another little, very skinny line next to the middle one. If you can't get this in, it's not like kids like who maybe a bit heavy handed or they've got a big brush, you don't need to do this double line thing, but for adults that really want to give it a whirl, you can do. But then there's some green in here, look. I'm not sure if that's the right green. You painted me just then, didn't you? <laughs> there you go, take that paint, I'm done. So I hope, I'll give you a minute to get to uh, to get to that stage whilst I have a little look at the uh, well, look at the live feed. Here it is. Too much orange coming through. Just put some more. There's not. I'm not using much water. If you've got too much orange coming through, then you know you just um, put some more green on top. Really. Or you can use a bit of water and just kind of, or you can use your fingers even and just smudge it in. If you find that easy, loads of people, as soon as I say, you know, you can use your fingers, suddenly it's a revelation and um, it, makes, it makes life. You can use your fingers? You can, yes, Dave, of course you can use your fingers. You can always use your fingers. Okay. Nicole, are you all right? Hopefully she's all right. Okay. Well done. Are you just doing the three lines there, Dace? Yeah? Maybe make your bridge a bit lighter, because it's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, hi, Lise. Lisa and Lucy are watching. Oh, hi, Lucy. Hi. Daisy was looking like me earlier, but she's, she's uh, from freestyle. Like and yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Daisy, can you shout out for Lara in Bromley? Lara in Bromley, hello. <laughs> I remember when I saw 
thing and I forgot what I was about to say. Dee, dee, dee. Hi, Hilary. Yeah, all of these paintings save to the page to, um, so you can watch back later. I'm not sure yet. Okay, here we go. Okay, so before the break, we've got to do the, the upright bits of the bridge. Daisy, you ready? Before you just join, we make this colour with white, blue and yellow. Okay, good. Thanks for that little... Uh... Okay, this bit is a little... This bit is a little bit tricky. So you have to... Concentrate a little bit and watch me. Okay. Hello? Okay. So we're going to do the uprights. And if, as we work from left to right, because I'm right handed, you can go the other way if you want, but actually no, don't do that. Go from left to right. The first upright is a little bit in and it goes down from, it goes from the top line straight down to the bottom line. And it, if you've got a different colour, then you might want to just even the colours out. That's the first one. So let me show you what the first one is. Um, We've just done that one. We've just done that line. And next we're going to do the line next to it, which starts from the second line down, because it's the one at the back. So that starts from the top line, and that starts from the second line down, and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bridge. And then you can, you can even it out like that. Yes, that's absolutely, are you playing with your fingers now? <laughs> Okay, and then we move along, and it's, we start, we're trying to get some straight lines here. The second one's a bit more important, or the second two are more important, because you always have to make sure that they're sort of either side of the middle. So before you start painting one here, work out that there's going to, try and figure it out where you need to put it. I'm going to stick my head in the way of the camera, and then it goes about there, and it goes top, straight down to the bottom. I'm not too bothered about the colours, this has gone a bit blue. You know, we can paint over all of this stuff, and the extra colours help anyway. And then this uh, line, the next one, it's closer. It's a lot closer because of the perspective. It's, it's a lot closer. And then that goes down to the bottom. I'll give you a minute to do that. So the first, I'll do it in fact, I'll do it in white. Do some white, Dave. All right, I'll do it in white so you can see. The first one, top to bottom. The second one second line to bottom and then you can kind I'm of, just doing it. Or you can freestyle it like Daisy is doing, which actually looked pretty cool. Well done. Now I need to wash my hands <laughs> and my hair. And then the second line, the second one is top to bottom and then the second one down goes like that. So you can see we've got a little bit of perspective going on. What are you off? You have to wash your hands. Cool. All right. So then, what time is it? We've got two minutes to go before the, before the break. So we've got to do a couple more of these. So as we work our way across, it's the second one down this time. Straight down. And then it's the top one. Straight down. And then, if we keep going, it's the second one down. And then it's the top one. Yeah, they should be, so I've messed mine up a little bit. They should be equally spaced. Don't copy me. That's because I'm painting on an angle like this and I can't see. That's my excuse. That is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Um, that's basically it. That's the bridge. Now we can do tie time. Just wait a sec, Dave. You can do the bridge and you can just kind of overlay it if you want. I've got to play around. Always, always, a top tip. If this is like before the, right at the end of the first sort of session, top tip, have us stand back from it. So if you're painting on a piece of paper, put the paper up against the wall or on a book or something, step away like to the other side of the room. 
Um, and if you're on canvas, run backwards and have a look at it. And you'll see, because like, close up, everything's really difficult and, okay. and um, <laughs> uh, abstract. And, and as you put it further back, it's more of an impression of a thing, hence the impressionist. Right, that is the end. We overran, Dave. We overran by two minutes, sorry. So we're going to start painting again at one o'clock. I've got a very red nose today, haven't I? You have. Mm. Can I search it up now? Uh, no, I don't want you to search it up on your phone or, or search it up on your phone. Yeah, here, just... here, here, here. Mm. In a minute I'm going to show you how to make a tie-dye apron. Oh my gosh, so many people in touch with me. You left the tap running, what else sounds like? Thanks? Yeah? Tap running. Sorry. Whew. That was good, first half. So, uh, if you are struggling, <laughs> uh, you could possibly message, you can't put pictures into the live feed, but I think you can message me with pictures. So you just do that on the messenger part of the page and I can help if you've got any disasters. Um, uh, and also, like, over the course of the weekend, if you're stuck with anything, just, just message me and I can go, yeah, you need to make that light, lighter or that darker. And I'll probably reply. Well, I will reply if I see it. Um, yeah, that's it. And don't forget... Uh, oh, Daisy, are you going to do some sort of... Are you going to do some tie-dye something or other? Yeah, there's a Jack Vetriano painting. There is a Jack Vetriano painting, which... Mm -hmm. Somebody was asking uh, whether or not we could paint I can't this. Find it. We could paint this Jack Vetriano painting. Uh, it's probably a bit tricky to do in an hour and a half, and loads of people with kids are doing it, so it's a little bit too much. But we do do, we do 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 uh, Zoom hi, lessons. Hi. Days, shush! I want to talk in. I'm in. Um, we do Zoom lessons, and the £20 person, and then and it's a sort of two-way thing. So at the moment I'm talking to my phone. But uh, the Zoom lessons, obviously, it's like a Zoom meeting. So if you wanted to do something like this, or anything else, uh, just we can sort it out. I think it's like three people, three people minimum, makes it worth doing, and it's like a... It was 1926. 1926, we finally found out. 15th, 5th of the December. 5th of December, 1926, Monet died. I was uh, only 15 years out. Not bad, huh? Yeah, it's a good one to, um, it's a good one to do, Gloria. But you, it's just too hard for this sesh. It's too hard to do in, in an hour and a half. It's not even an hour and a half, it's an hour and a quarter because there's a break. Um, but we can sort it out. If, sorry, if you and even I think it was wanted to do it. Um, uh, hi, Anne Marie. I'll message you later. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Days, what are you doing? You in, you in my live feed now? <laughs> hi. If you want to do your tie dye uh, video, we are doing. We are doing tie dye now. Okay, we are going to do tie dye. Get an apron. Any apron or t shirt? I do. Hi, Louise. So, what you need to do is you get some elastic bands. Daisy's just going to do... Yeah, we should do the sunset one. That's a good idea, Helen. Hold the elastic bands. Hold the elastic bands. Hold the elastic bands. Nobody knows what you're doing, Daisy. What are we talking about? We're doing tie-dye. Tie-dye what? Can you explain? Because I'm trying to find it last. I'll find your elastic bands. Okay, so this is... No, no, no one can see you. Stand on the chair or something. Oh dear. 
Yeah, don't break the chair. Oh dear, oh dear, that's a bad idea. Hello! <laughs> Hi there. Uh, so basically, get any clothing that you want today. What did you tie dye before, Days? Have you? Are you wearing anything that you've tie dyed um, earlier? Yeah, this is tie dye. Uh, yes. Did you make that? Yes. Are you going to explain to everyone how you made that? Yes. Right. So how do we start? You wet it. Um, you soak it in water. What? What do you soak in water? The clothing that you want. Okay. Are you going to tie? A, uh, apron. apron, right, okay. And then you put, you kind of roll it up and with elastic band, and then there's a middle two there and then two at the end. Yeah. And you dye your favourite colour in the middle. Yeah. And then your two next favourite colours, and then your two next favourite colours. <laughs> and then you, it makes an apron. And then you wait for six to eight hours and then you unravel it and you put it in water until the colours are stopped running. Okay, and are you going to do a special video of it that we'll post up on the thing? But now we're doing it now. We're not doing it now, we haven't got time. <laughs> we'll do a proper video though for it because <laughs> people are trying to finish this. We'll do a proper video this week on, day, on how Daisy makes tie-dye clothes. How's that? Cool. So we've got five minutes. This is not much very helpful having that there, is it? Five minutes. Yeah, Lynn, I haven't done any videos yet. We keep talking about it, but we haven't done any.
Morning, Steve. Steve's here. It is almost one o'clock. Very much so. It's like two minutes to one. Quick game of roadblocks, quick tick tock, and we're back. <laughs> Things right, we've got one minute to go and then we're back. We are nearly back. Hope you had a lovely break. Hopefully. Oh, I've lost me. Uh... There it is. Are you ready, Dave? Put that back. Put the, put the roadblocks down. Put the roadblocks down. <laughs> Come here. Thank you. It's one o'clock. <laughs> oh, hi, Lorraine. Hi. Lorraine's watching, Dave. Go, go say hi to Lorraine. <laughs> say hi to Lorraine like that. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> no one can see you. <laughs> Sorry, this is the most annoying glasses in the world. Look, I have to okay, put it look. In your mouth. Back in your cage. Back in your cage, you naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> oh, welcome back, everybody. Um, hopefully, you had a nice break and you weren't painting. You weren't going too mad with your painting. Just a little um, reminder next week, we are painting Banks. Banksy. So, we shall be in disguise. <laughs> Disguise, because nobody knows who Banksy is. Um, there's an extra slight instruction for next week whereby I'll send you a template. Yes, I'll send you a template which needs printing out and we're going to trace it. So it's a lot easier. You might have seen Banksy. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm going to break days. Can you mix up some paint? Get a small brush. We're going to go in with lilies. Three, two, one, start. Exactly, exactly. It's very much like that. All right, get your palette. Get your palette. Palette, palette. Three, two, one, start. We are on lilies. Now, move this up a bit so you can see. Take this off a bit because it's now we're back. We're in good time, we've got half an hour to paint these lilies and mess about a little bit, a few little bits of tweaking. And sometimes we're not uh, this far, well, we're not ahead of ourselves, but it's nice to have enough time to, to do a good job. So, right, where are we going to start? Daisy Deuce, back to your station, please. And we need to get back to your station. And we need to make so a lilac colour. Explain to the good people how to make the lilac. Red. Red, check. Blue. Check. White. Check. But mostly? Blue. No. <laughs> mostly white. white. So you get some white. Get some white paint, add some blue to it. So you get a light blue. And then you want to add a little bit of red to it. And you definitely want small brush now. Small or at least a sharp brush. 
What are you doing? Come back over there. So, go over there. Get some hay back if you want it. I need it, I need it. Um, okay, so, I'm getting white paint, a little bit of red in it, a little bit of blue in it, and it should go to this lilac -y sort look of colour. Look how sharp this brush is. And then, if we look at this painting, the lily pads, they're not all, they're not all the same colour. Some of them are a bit greeny, some of them are a bit whitey. So, it's just a sort of rough guide to this colour. Don't use that. Because that's a massive brush, you, don't, you need a small little one. You need a little brush. Okay, so what I'm going to explain is... Um, we're going to try and do the lilies, the lilies that are at the back are obviously, um, get out of the way, I'm going to stand on you. Get out of the way. <laughs> I don't want to stand on you, you've got no shoes on. So the lilies that are at the back are far away and there are lily, there's like, what's a group of lily pads, I don't know, but there's like a bed of lily pads. So is that A the, tadpole. So you're not really going to see each individual each individual lily pad. So at the back, they're just these little lines, really thin, and they're all they're sat on top of the water, aren't they? Of course. So they're going to be flat, which means they're going to be horizontal. So they're not uphill like this. They're flat. The beds of lily pads. Keep looking at your reference because obviously the Monet is uh, <laughs> uh, what you want to be trying to go for. Um, remember ages ago that there was that. Remember ages ago that there was a sort of path, or it looks like a pathway? It looks like a pathway that kind of goes in like that. So just bear that in mind when you're doing your lily pads that are coming in from the outside. Like the Father Ted sketch, uh, things that are closer towards you are bigger than things that are far away from you. So in order to remember that, maybe paint some big lily pads at the front. Big lily pads. And then some medium sized lily pads in the middle. Dave, don't do that. I'm trying to paint. I'm painting I know, but for you. Thanks. I know, it's beautiful, but it, you're painting on the same thing that I'm painting. I mean, thanks. It's really nice, but. So paint some little, and they're sort of like torpedoes. You, they're not round, they're not. They're just little lines, really, and they. like that and then obviously as they go off into the distance they're smaller so to practice put a few in the front and then make sure the medium ones are here and then as they go backwards they're not you're not even going to see you're not even going to see each individual lily pad and you're leaving that pathway so you've actually got ages to do this Daisy's up to something. She's up to something, and I don't know what it is. There we go. Dee 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 dee. All right. Right, Daisy, that's it now. Daisy's just drawn a lovely love heart on the back of that. Oh, is it the girl with the balloon? Oh, that's nice. Thank you, beautiful. You're dead painting, you naughty girl! <laughs> Putting graffiti on my back of my canvas, my favourite. Okay. I'm going to paint on this side. So they're all different. They're all... They're all the same shape, but they're not all the same size. Remember that. And also, you, what you need to remember is that they're not all equally spaced apart. Some lilies will be overlapping the other lilies, won't they? Hey, get painting. Get painting, you can. I'll give you a biscuit afterwards. It's like a dog, isn't it? You're like a dog. Why have you licked my paint? Can I get painted? I need another paintbrush now, because mum. Okay, I'll get some paint as well because that's being stolen. Mm. 
Trying to get roughly a sort of lilac y colour. And you don't have to wait for me. This one's too pink, but it's fine, I'm going to go with it anyway. And the ones in the middle are a certain size, and the ones that are further forward are bigger. Right at the end, we get to put the flowers in. I'm putting the flowers in now. Okay, you need to put loads more lilies in, Dates. Yours. Loads more lily pads, not lilies. Everybody, make sure that you don't just have lilies dotting around in the middle of your painting. It's a landscape, basically. So we need to wrap around the edges. So make sure you have some lilies coming around the edges. And keep checking. Oh, it's nice, Dave. Nice. You have loads more lilies. Your paint... Your, listen to me. Listen to me, dotty, dotty girl. Your pet, your lilies. The <laughs> <laughs> smaller. Yes. Get off my beard. <laughs> your lilies are smaller at the front and bigger at the back. That's wrong. They need to be bigger at the front because they're closer to you. Well, that was my paint. Okay, give me yours then. Take that. Okay. Take all of it. Give me yours back. Give me yours back. <laughs> So we can all just sort of chill out now, paint some lily pads, like Bob Ross. Lily pads are your friends. You can put one here, or here, or here. But they're your friends. But they're your friends. <laughs> Have you ever seen Bob Ross, Les? No. I oh, will put it on, it's brilliant. It's basically this, but in the 70s. Lily pads are your friends. Lily pads are your friends. Is that more better? You don't have to wait for me. Crack on. Speed painting again. Suddenly it will be a big rush at the end. Try and don't rush it like I'm rushing it. The lily pads, they need to be flat. Bigger ones at the front day. So the ones at the front are going to be like three times the size of the ones at the halfway up. For instance, there's five big ones right down here. Five huge ones. Big ones like these. Look how he big loved it, that didn't he? Is. He loved it. He loved his garden. There's a crab in your feet. Yeah, the little pets in your feet. You can put in a little tree. Or a bird. Or a little bird. <laughs> <laughs> They're still the same size, Daisy. They're all the same size. Do a few big ones at the front. Do one like this big, and then it will make the smaller. It will make the ones at the back smaller. There you go. So do a massive one, bottom right. That's annoying. <laughs> Try mixing up your paint on the uh, on the canvas rather than in, on, on your palette okay, and then you get more. Okay. Then you get more. Oh! Smiley face. Okay, and there's some pinky ones. There's yeah, some blue ones smiley. and some pinky ones. It's just a little smiley thing. Did Bob Ross become a painter? Bob Ross was, was definitely was a painter. I don't know if he's still alive or not, I'm not sure. But He's on YouTube. No, he's on Channel 4 a lot at the moment because everyone's in life down there. And um, mm. everyone's painted, which is a good thing. Mm. I haven't looked at the feed. I thought I was on my own for a minute. Well, on my own, just for you. Uh, you never knew I was here! <laughs> so gradually, we're building this thing up and you can see the more Lily pads, the better. Wrap some around the outside, Dave. So put ah. some. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got one around the outside. Everyone needs to remember okay. that they wrap around the outside some they of these lily pads. Around. Yeah. 
And then the ones at the back, remember? I love, just, look yeah. how good my pilot, not my pilot. Really good pilot. That's a good painting. It'll also be great because in a bit, we'll have, um, we'll be doing some pinky little flowers and stuff. <gasps> oh, I know. Mind blown. It's going to be so exciting. All right, let's just check everything's all right. I feel like it's gone quiet. Imagine Bob Ross in the butt as a... Oh, Big Dave's watching. Hello, mate. Hello, Big Dave. <laughs> imagine, imagine Yoda in a bride dress. What? Imagine Yoda in a bride's dress. Yeah. What are you talking about? I've got this thing called a drawing generator. generator. Um, lots of people have seen it on I've never seen it. What is TikTok. it? I've seen TikTok. And um, so it just picks a character and it said what they should be as. And I got Baby Yoda in a um, bride's dress. I want to say that. Maybe we should paint that one week. Should we do that? Yes. You should get it on your phone. It's so cool. Okay. Yes. I've got tape on my leg. Everyone's concentrating, Ella. Everyone's concentrating. But it's good because we've got loads of time. Done. <laughs> Daisy finished already. We haven't done the pink bits yet. I think I would say everyone needs more lilies. Even me? You definitely need some lilies, more lilies, days. It's a lily pond. Get some lilies on it. So little sketchy ones at the back, remember? Really sketchy. I'm holding, if, you, if you're bothered, I'm holding my paintbrush really lightly, like that. There's a few different, there's a few different colours, there's a bit of that and a bit of that and a bit of that. So it's on like this and I'm just holding it horizontally and wherever the paint catches, that's what I'm going with. Just going, just going with the flow, man. Yeah. Are you liking this one, Des? Yeah. Yeah, the lily pads, they look friends. Oh, Des, you've got a lot of lilies in there. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Love it! You said to go the I know it is, you following? Yeah, how come you listen to me today? You can't have enough lilies, can you? This is nice though, isn't it? The reflection. And you can put a few lilies on top of here. I'm finished. You are nearly finished, Ace. I am finished. You're not quite finished. Have a look at the painting, and there's some little white, there's some little white flowers with some pink bits underneath. I've already done the pink. You haven't done any white flowers. The white flowers I'm talking about go like this. There's a little lesson for people like Daisy who. L M G. L M G. Oh my gosh, that's actually really good. Oh, thanks very much. What's well, yours or yours? Yours. Mine. Mine. I think yours is really good. But yours actually looks like it goes down. Mine just looks like it. But the only reason because yours, you've got all your lily pads are the same size. Yeah. Where my lily pads are at the back like this, tiny, tiny. Your lily pads at the back here and must be must be like this big. Do you see what I mean? Okay, what time is it? Maybe mine's from above. Yeah, maybe it is a bit more from above. Good thinking. Good thinking. I like it. So Dave, so there's one little thing that you might want to do, and also this is this is for everybody else who wants to, who uh, who've got kids that are rolling around on the floor, going, can we just finish this? Can we just get this over with? Um, we're going to paint a few lilies. So a little brush and white paint. Okay. Remember again, stuff that's closer towards you is bigger, and stuff that's further away from you. Are you watching? She's gone. She's gone. That's it. Are you finished? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do just like three little things like this. In white, straight white. There's actually, a, I'll tell a lie, there's some of these, are, some of these are 
pink and some of these are yellow, but these are the flowers. Daddy. Keep looking at your reference. Actually, underneath some of the white, actually I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. Get some pink, which is red and, Dave, stop singing. <laughs> I've got some pink, which is red and white, and I'm going to go pink, 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 pink. Keep looking at your reference, figure out where it is. The pink is like almost the exact opposite of some of this green. It's the opposite colour. So we can have some little pink bits here, and this really sort of brings the painting alive. We can have some deeper pink if you want, nearly red. Right, just some little ones here, and then a few little ones like that. And then on top of... The pinkies, you're going to get your flower, your actual lily flowers, and that's just straight white, like that. One, two, three. Daddy, we've Daddy. hit 200. We've hit 200. 200 million? 200. That's good. 200 people watching, that's good. All right. If you want to go pro, some of these. Or well, 213. That's good. Whoa. If you want to go pro, yeah, of course, cool. the lilies will have a reflection. The way I do that, I'll do a big one here just to show you. So let's say there's let's say there's a big lily here. Right? And it needs a reflection. So I'm just gonna go with finger, gonna catch a bit of it, and then just do that underneath. And you've got a reflection. So I'm just gonna catch a bit of it there and then just drag it down like that. Maybe some of that. And you can and then there's some yellow ones. Don't dip your paintbrush in your coffee slash wine. <laughs> slash wine slash wine slash wine slash wine there's some yellow ones a few yellow ones I'm surprised you're not putting a few white ones in your painting days I like pink yeah, and yellow a few little yellow ones dotted about a few little yellow ones I mean you can put them wherever you like but remember, they're bigger at the front. Ew. Uh, Dave, no. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. How's it all going? Let's have a look. 200 people watching earlier. Yeah. Give me that, Dave. Thank you. Put a few little white flowers in for us and then you're done. We can put yours in a frame. <laughs> Get off the floor! <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, hi Joe. Yeah, you can replay it. When we finish at about half past one, I press save and it goes to the uh, oh, goes straight to the page. Oh, she's back. She's back. You haven't signed it. Obviously, you can do this forever. You can put as many flowers in as you like. And tadpoles. Tadpoles. Daisy's got a couple of uh, fish leaping out, which look remarkably like eyebrows, but let's keep them on there. Let's have a look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, us, yeah, you can't pause it because we're live. I don't think I need, I still need some more lilies, days. Still need more. I'm going to go more. Yours is done, you need to sign it, I think. Where is it? Where is it? I'm gonna go more lilies. Mm -hmm. See, this is the point where people are going, right, I can't stop painting lilies. But the good thing is that you're at home and you can just keep going as long as you like. But, um, do's, I think some of these paintings, I've not seen any of yours, but I think they're gonna be really good. So this could be like the best gallery ever. Send them in over the weekend or now if you finish them or if you finish over the weekend, send them in and we'll do it Sunday night. I will compile them all into a uh, 
into like a little video gallery, like a three minute video gallery thing, and it'll be normally quite good. Amazing. Amazing. See, so even I can't stop. That's nice, Dad. Nice. Nice, not a nice one. Little top tip, don't space out. I mean, I, I'm guilty of this as well. But don't, don't space out your lily pads. If they're looking all a bit out there, maybe you want to put a little bit of green on some of them. That helps quite a lot. And it's just, I'm actually, I'm not mixing up green. If, you want, if you've got some of this green or pre-mixed green, because we're tinkering around, you can put a few green lily pads. And actually, probably everyone should do this. Uh, you can. Daisy's going on her iPad now to do some research on uh... Yeah, actually, that's a good move. A little recent discovery. Why don't you just put a little bit of green on before you do that? But I put loads of green on. Okay, fine. <laughs> You're done, all right. A little bit of green on top of these lilac lily pads works an absolute treat. Oh, look at that, I messed that one up. Yeah. All right. So really, this is looking very much like I've got this under control for a change. Let's have a look. Unprecedented. We're five minutes early. Unprecedented. Do, 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 do. I've said this before, but Leonardo da Vinci, that's Leonardo da Vinci, said um, art is only, never, never finished, only abandoned. So think about that. I'll give you a little close-up of Daisy's uh, painting here as we're coming towards the end. Ooh. Check this out. Um, Daisy, do you want to talk us through this piece? Stand up here and talk us through this piece and explain your thought process. These are the fish. <laughs> This is a fish. These yes. are lily pads. This yes. is a bridge. Oh, yes. And these are these. Oh, very good. And how did you feel when you were painting this? Ecstatic? Yes. Ecstatic, that's good. And did you, what did you use to paint the fish? Huh? What did you use to paint the fish? I mean, it looks eyebrows. Uh, false eyebrows. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Janice. Send us your photos. Send us your photos. We're fully expecting, fully expecting to break the internet this afternoon with photos coming in. Uh, we're nearly there. We nearly made it to half past one. Uh, thank you, everybody, including daughter, who is yeah. now fully engrossed in something else. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, we need to do team photo. You need to get your fat beard back on. All right. No. <laughs> uh, next week, we are going to paint Banksy, the girl with the balloon. Um, the girl with the girl. Yeah, so good. So good. And we are going to slightly cheat. So if you like the, um, if you like the event, there's going to be a little template, which I'll send you for you to print out to the size you want. And then what we do is we scribble pencil on the back, stick the template to the paper or the canvas, 
and then we draw around it, revealing the outline of the girl. Then we mess about with the background, we put the balloon in, we, do, we paint the girl, and it, it's a thing of beauty. I've done it it's loads of times. Of thing of beauty. You can either, you can take your time, you can do it with a pen, or you can do it in paint, um, but it's really cool, it's a really cool thing to do. So, if you can, uh, tell your friends to like the page and all that, sharing malarkey, that would be a good thing. We will be in disguise next week. You will not recognise us at all. Is that right, Daisy? No. We shall be in full disguise. No! Sorry, I fell. <laughs> Cheers, Jules. Jules. Some people think this is therapy, Daisy. Hello, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to get the frame for yours. Good idea with the fake eyebrows, Beth. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What do you think now? It's in a frame. <laughs> they actually look like eyebrows. Yeah, they do. I don't know how that's going to stay on there though. Maybe if I just hang it like that, hopefully it won't fall off. There we go, that's it. That's it. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, Daisy Dues, can you come up here and say bye to everyone? Because it okay. is actually half past one. Okay. Oh, I'm just doing this day. I'm oh, just doing this day. Uh, yeah, I would do. But I'm uh, just uh, actually a uh, bit busy. Come here, gorgeous. Oh, well done. Uh, thanks, everybody. See you next time. Give them a wave, Daisy. Bye. Um, if you want a Zoom call, uh, we do these on Zoom, which we've uh, spoken about earlier. Get a little party together. I'd love to, oh actually, before we go, next week, or maybe sometime, maybe this week, I've seen in the live feed there's a watch party button. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's like, you can watch this live with your friends and you can chat maybe at the same time, I'm not sure. So fingers crossed somebody will do that. Uh, and we can find out uh, if it works or not. So uh, see you next week. Bye. Two level seventeen. Are we still on the live? We're still live, Dave. We're still live. We need to do team photo. Let's get that bit on. Cheers, Rosie. Oh. Cheers, Melanie. See you, Louise. I told you there was a Melanie. Yeah. Cheers, Lynn.
Oh, Alice! <laughs> Thanks, Alice. Ash, thank you. Hey, Dave, give Megan a shout. Bye, Megan! <laughs> Yeah, Ash, put some primer on it or any paint, any white paint. Cheers, Marissa. Maddie, I got your message the other day. I'll have a look, see what we're going to paint. Lynn says bye, Daisy. Oh, bye. Lynn. Bye, Lynn. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Annabelle. <laughs> Send us all your photos when you've when you got them finished. Cheers, Kim. Sue, oh, do you think it was hard? I thought it was, oh, okay. It's all subjective, isn't it? Some people think they're easy and some people think they're hard. <laughs> all of them look better from a distance. <laughs> Caroline, cheers. Sarah, bye. You should be doing this, Dave. Oops. Crash. Cheers, Sue. Thanks, Francesca. Yeah, Get up here. Get up here, stand on that and just, Sorry, I just, I just stand on there and then you can shout out people. Because it, it, that's it. Susie! Bye, Susie. <laughs> Susie is an absolute legend and she's been doing, I think she's done everyone. Bye, Nancy. See you next week. <laughs> Bye, Jess. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. And Sarah and Atty. And Atty. <laughs> Shout out. Names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Paulette. Mm -hmm. Should we finish it and do our team? Uh, Team photo. Yeah. And then you can have a go on that for a bit. Still a hundred and six <laughs> people watching. Yeah. That's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're going to press Fini. Fini, au revoir.